Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And I had intended in this video to show you two different things to see that are within 15 miles of Bend, Oregon. The first one where I'm here at, the Newbury National Volcanic Monument, is closed for COVID. <laughs> However, I am at the Visitor Center. It's just closed, so I'm very limited as to what I can show you. However, the other thing that I want to show you in this video is a very nice waterfall. So I am going to be able to video that for you at the end of this video. So I'm here at the Lava Lands Visitor Center. And it says here, thank you for your patience as we work to restore services. I don't know what kind of work they're doing. <laughs> I don't think they're doing any work. They're just waiting to get the official word that they can reopen the visitor center. So Bend is about 12 miles north and I'm right here. And the road, this brown road that goes up to the volcano, they've got this blocked off. It's the gate is shut, so you can't go in. But that's what the property looks like. I'd love to be able to drive around here, around to the volcano and look down into it and show you what that looks like. But the best I can do is show you some of the lava piles they have back here. This is the side of the volcano can't see much of it from here but look at all of these lava piles let me get up close so you can see them a little better of what they look like individually over here they're really dark so that's all I can see that's right behind the visitor center. Now there is someone in charge here. A man just came out of the visitor center and gave me some information. He said this, where you can normally drive up, you can actually hike it. It's about a mile and a half one way, so it'd be about three miles round trip and it increases elevation about 500 feet which is something I don't think I have the energy to do today. <laughs> and also, they have a lava river cave, which is a cave you can go into, but you need a light and a guide, and so they've got that closed too. So I'm just going to walk around here and see what I can see. I have this paved trail that goes into the lava area, so I'm going to do that. So I can get right up to the lava and I'm glad it doesn't look like this anymore. <laughs> so now I'm actually on top of that lava bed and get a little better view of the volcano from down here. And those two piles and these two piles are called lava snowballs. I did not know that. Great balls of fire. Here you can see the road that goes around the rim of the volcano. So I'm glad you actually can get a really close up view of everything here. Wow, look how far this lava field goes. I can't even see the end of it. But I can see some mountains, snow covered mountains in the distance here. I've seen those in other places around the area here. This is a tree trunk standing up there by itself. And this plaque tells about it. And in case you want to know, how the volcano began? Well, it turns out it began with a bang. 
Well, this visit turned out to be okay after all. Just can't go up and see down into the volcano. Maybe when you're here, it'll be open. So now I'm going to go and show you the waterfall that is on the west side of Bend. This is Tomorrow Creek, which is about 15 miles west of Bend, the city of Bend, Oregon. And the last few miles of that is a gravel road. And just a little ways up that creek is Tumalo Falls. Zoom in on the top of it there. viewing platform you can see up there if you want to see the falls from the top of it I prefer from the bottom get a better view and down here is where it crashes onto the rocks So half of the thrill is the really long fall and then seeing the way it hits the rocks here is very interesting as well. Very foresty around here. They've got a really nice viewing platform here. Quite a big canyon side here as well. Well folks, how do you like the waterfall? And how did you like this particular video? Please let me know. Good day, folks.